Hello, this is Nick with NicksComputerFix.com and here's a tip on how to speed up Windows 7 by adding RAM to your laptop computer. Now before I move on, let me give you a little explanation of what RAM is. It's uh, random access memory and uh, this memory is computer data storage where information is stored and accessed rapidly from random locations from a memory module within your laptop computer or your desktop computer. However, keep in mind that unlike your permanent hard drive storage, RAM storage is temporary storage and requires power in order to keep the data accessible. So when you power down your laptop, for instance, um, all of your data contained in RAM is memory is lost. So keep that in mind and uh, let's go ahead and move on. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you how much memory that I have installed on this laptop computer here. And the way we go about doing that is go down to our start menu and then we go up to computer and we right click on computer and then we scroll down and left click on properties. Now this will bring up the information screen and as you can see I'm running Windows 7 Ultimate but you can also see the amount of memory I have installed. Right now I have one gigabyte of memory installed and it's a 32-bit operating system. Now the maximum memory that I can put on or in this 32-bit um, operating system is four gigabytes of memory um, and that's if um, my laptop computer can handle four gigabytes. Some uh, laptops can only handle two. Okay, now let me show you how you go about putting um, extra RAM in your laptop computer step by step here. Okay, to begin with, let's go ahead and disconnect our AC adapter plug from our laptop computer. Once that's done, we'll go ahead and locate our laptop battery and remove it. Now after you remove the laptop battery, we want to make sure that all the juice is out of your laptop and we do this by um, depressing the power button for about five seconds and that makes sure that uh, there's no more juice in your laptop. At this point we can go ahead and start to open up the back panels on your laptop computer. Right here is your disk and your your laptop memory is right in here. Sometimes there's a, a lid, but in this case it's not. I have to actually remove several panels here, and uh, I'm going to do that quickly. Once I have all the screws unscrewed, I'm going to go ahead and pop the lid off the um, hard drive cover here. And as you can see, the hard drive is located right here. Now up here the memory is located underneath this panel and I'm going to pop the lid here. That allows us to see the um, hard drive, the fan, the CPU, and of course our memory. Now to remove the memory stick you press the little levers on the, each side here. It pops up like this and you go ahead and pull it out and uh, what we want to take note of here is the little groove on the uh, memory stick. All right, I'm using uh, four gigabytes of memory, two, two gigabytes each, and the way you put it in is at about a 45 degree angle, and then you press down and it clips uh, back in place. I also want to mention that there's normally only two memory slots available on most notebooks. Okay, let's go ahead and put this back together. Uh, put the lid on top here, and with the um, magic of video editing, I can speed this up a little bit and uh, screw those screws in really quick. Put my battery back in, and uh, I am ready to go. All right, now that we have that memory installed, let's take a look at the information screen by going right back up to computer here and right clicking, scrolling down and left click on properties. And that brings up the information screen and as you can see we now have installed four gigabytes of memory 
but only three of it is usable. And that's because the maximum um, amount of memory that can be used in a 32-bit operating system is four gigabytes. And um, you get somewhere between three and 3.50 of usable memory because some of it is shared with your video card. Okay, um, that should speed up your computer and uh, give you a nice performance kick. Uh, that's it for this video. Subscribe and like my video.